Hi, my name is Sarah Seves. I'm president of the Junior League of Champlain Valley. And I'm Olivia Taylor. I am the vice president of philanthropy for the Junior League. Uh, and so we like to call the Junior League of Champlain Valley uh, JLCV for short. Um, so that will be our shorthand. Just to give a little background on what the Junior League is, it's an organization of women whose mission is to advance women's leadership for meaningful community impact through volunteer action, collaboration, and training. That is a mouthful, but I'll unpack it a little bit. We were started in 1901 by Mary Harriman, who was a socialite from New York. Uh, and we have expanded um, over 100 years to 294 leagues across four countries. And we have 171,000 members and counting, which is really exciting. So typically each league has a focus area, our focus area, the JLCV's focus area, um, we have identified as affordable living. And that means we typically partner and work with community organizations um, in Burlington, um, as well as in Chittenden County, uh, that work to improve the lives of those experiencing poverty um, and also struggling to afford the basics um, of life. Um, this year alone, we've worked with almost a dozen organizations, including Spectrum Vermont, Sleep in Heavenly, Heavenly Peace, Wood for Good, uh, and Girls on the Run, to name a few. And we also started and operated the JLCV Diaper Bank for five years. Uh, so that's kind of our, our claim to fame in the area is the Diaper Bank. If you've ever heard of the Diaper Bank, that's, that's us. Um, and in 2023, our last year of operation, we distributed over 2 million diapers to 80 partners statewide. Um, so that was a really successful endeavor. Uh, and just to give you a little background about our organization, in August of each year, we actively engage in member recruitment, where we spread the word about JLCV and the work we do and other women in the community. We, um, we really like to tout our membership because joining GL JLCV has a lot of different advantages, um, including getting involved in your community. We hear time and again from people who come to our recruiting events that they want to get more involved in the community and they want to also get to know other like-minded women. Um, I think that's probably my favorite part of the Junior League is it attracts a certain type of woman who just really gets things done um, and I love that. Um, and you're also helping your neighbors um, and you get to know people that way. Um, and this year um, we have an amazing new member class of I think 10 people or 12 people um, and we will be voting them into active membership tonight um, and this is a lot of kind of jargon um, so if you want to learn more about JLCV you can visit champlainvalley.jl.org. Um, we also engage regularly in funding initiatives to support the work of our league and our community partners. Uh, so to give you a taste of that, for several years, we organized and held a festival of wreaths during the holidays, and that raised thousands of dollars each year. And for the past several years now, we have leveraged the power of social media and in, have engaged in fundraising for Giving Tuesday, which occurs on the last Tuesday of November. Um, and typically fundraising will um, go toward our league operations as well as um, our work with community partners. And this year, we're excited to be doing something completely new and exciting, um, and that is our Little Black Flannel Initiative. And Olivia is going to let us know about that. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm really excited. This is the first year we're doing something called the Little Black Flannel Initiative. Um, and it is actually based on the Little Black Dress Initiative, which is uh, a fundraising event that hundreds of junior leagues do around the world. It started in London, actually, oh, about 50 that. years ago. Yeah. Cool. Um, and they basically would wear a dress, a black dress like you were wearing for that full week. 
um, to raise awareness about poverty and its effects of indiv on individuals and communities. So because Vermont is Vermont and different mm -hmm. in so many great ways, we decided to do a little black flannel initiative. So our members are going to be wearing black flannels for the week starting this Sunday, the 14th, all the way until the 20th, uh, yeah, April 20th, the Saturday. Um, so throughout this week, we're going to have events that are open to all community members and a silent auction online. Um, the purpose of this is to start conversations about poverty, challenge stereotypes, and support organizations that work to alleviate poverty. Specifically, we are working with the Wilston Food Shelf this year, so all funds raised are going to be split evenly with them. And we chose them for a really fun reason. Uh, Ginger Morton, who is the president of the Wilston Food Shelf, was actually one of the founding members of the Junior League of Champlain Valley. That's right. Um, and we recently helped them with their turkey drive in November and have continued to build a relationship. So. They are co-hosting and uh, helping out with this event, this week-long fundraiser with us. Um, and side note, I was at the turkey drive, yes. and it was so fun. <laughs> and Ginger is a spitfire, and so she's reason enough to come to yes. our events. <laughs> yes, Ginger is, is wonderful. And um, the Wilson Community Food Shelf is all-volunteer organization. Uh, they focus on Wilson, St. George, and Richmond. Um, and they serve an average of 280 families per month, wow. uh, with 17% being senior citizens and 30% being children. So they are doing a lot of really good work in uh, our community. So for what is the week? <laughs> so uh, starting on Sunday, our members will all wear black flannels with a little button that says, ask me about my flannel. And you can scan that and go to our website that will tell you what the events are, where the, what the silent auction items are and different ways to engage and donate. Um, the first event we have is on Tuesday from five to seven. It's a mixer at the 126 bar in Burlington where you get to come meet all the junior leaguers and get to know junior league and see if it's something that you are interested in or want to help out with or even join. Yeah, so it's like a um, little black flannel event slash recruitment. Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll learn all about kind of what it looks like to be part of the junior league, what that could be, and then also just get to know us as people. And um, if you're looking to socialize with community members who care about our community, who want to do volunteer work, uh, for me, that was one of the big reasons I joined Junior League was yep. I wanted friends, but I also wanted things to do and ways to help out in my community. And Same. it's really fun to be able to do those things with friends. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> um, so the second event we have is an open house at the Wilston Food Shelf, uh, which is in Wilston. And the Wilston Food Shelf has never done an open house, so this is a very new thing for them. Um, we have a few different fun activities we have uh, some cookies donated from Great Harvest. Awesome. We have some macaroons donated from Matryoshka Bakery in St. George. Uh, we have some, uh, we will have ax throwing from Burley Ax. Wow. <laughs> so that their mobile ax thrower throwing uh, trailer will be there as well. And uh, the Williston Food Shelf uh, volunteers will be giving tours of their location and basically different ways for you to help and support them. Um, so if you live in the Wilston area or if you just want to get to know the Wilston Food Shelf, it'll be a really fun time on Wednesday from five to seven. And then the last event we're having is a flannel walk up uh, Mount Philo in Charlotte. So we're gonna walk up the road because it's mud season and the trails are muddy, mm -hmm. uh, but we're all gonna wear flannels. We have coffee donated from Kestrel and bagels donated from Willows. And we're gonna eat some coffee, <laughs> eat some bagels, <laughs> drink some coffee and yeah. walk up together and just talk and, and have fun. Um, I'm gonna bring my dog. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Dogs, well-behaved dogs and children are welcome. <laughs> um, and I guess I really do want to go back to, though, really, what is the purpose and why are we doing this? Um, 
So we're really trying to talk about food insecurity and affordable living mm -hmm. in Vermont. And according to Hunger Free Vermont, two in five Vermonters are experiencing hunger, and this was only one in 10 before the pandemic. So people are really hurting, and there's a lot of different ways and different organizations that we work with that are really trying to help with that. Mm -hmm. um, something that I thought was really interesting as the Junior League uh, is a women's organization. Women are 7.3 times more likely to face hunger wow. in Vermont. Mm -hmm. um, so the Wilson Food Shelf does so much different stuff. They partner with the food bank. They do a plant a row for the Hungry Initiative. They do local food drives and partner with a lot of different people. Um, and so we're really excited to work with them and continue our partnership with them. Mm. Um, when I was there for the turkey drive, it was really amazing to see how efficient they are. And uh, they actually don't, uh, I think you said, they don't receive any kind of donations, mm -hmm. outright monetary donations. So yes. every month they have to go and outsource all of the food that is in the food pantry. And they're all volunteers. It's really, they're quite a force. It's amazing to see. Yeah, yeah, they are fully donation volunteer run. Mm -hmm. So they don't get funding outside of people donating food and their time and their money and uh, volunteers like the Junior League and anyone else who can come and actually help them with mm -hmm. that stuff. So right. it's it's so fundraising yes. too, super important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited to be able to help them not just in our volunteer work but also by helping them with fundraising as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then our silent auction, we've had a lot of really great things from that. I'm super excited about yes. the silent auction. We have so many different items. We have uh, J. Peak Family Pass to the Pump House. We have a bunch of different museum memberships. We have some really nice clothes and jewelry and gift cards. We have a bunch of golf, uh, golf like tea, mm -hmm. uh, fees and oh, nice. stuff like that. Uh, we also have an overnight at Hotel Vermont. So we have a Ooh. lot of really great items. It's gonna open on Sunday and bidding is online and available until Saturday. So How for can the people week. access the, the silent auction? Where do yeah. they go? Yeah, so we have on our website a little black flannel page. Great. Um, and uh, down the page you can see links for where to RSVP for the events where to check out the silent auction and just where to donate to the Junior League. Wonderful. Um, so it's champlainvalley.jl.org. Yes. That's where all the silent auction information can be found. Yes. Great. And you might also see some posters around town that have a variety of uh, different logos of different places that have donated. We also have posters around town with our three activities as well. So. The three community events are open to everyone, and we want to get to know our community and talk to them about the Junior League, mm -hmm. the food shelf, and just uh, what we can all do to build community together. Yeah. It's terrific, and I have to say you have done an amazing job organizing this event. We want to pay you back for all your work by showing up, and so we really hope the community can show up too. Yes. I'm very excited. This was my first year as vice president of philanthropy, taking on a new activity, but something that really integrates us with the community was really important to me because um, I think not enough people know about the Junior League and part of the goal of the Little Black Flannel Initiative is to get more people to know about us mm -hmm. and talk about us and talk to us and join us too. Agreed. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Olivia. Yeah. We're excited. So uh, do we want to recap the dates and yes. times? Great. Yeah. So April 14th to 20th is the week when you might see people wearing black flannels and these buttons. Uh, we have three events, Tuesday, 5 to 7, at the 126 bar in Burlington is a mixer with junior leaguers. On Wednesday, the 17th, we have an open house at the Williston Community Food Shelf. We are asking people to bring donations as well if you come to any of our events, but especially the open house. You can check the Williston Food Shelf website to see what they need the most, um, but I've heard they need uh, laundry detergent, peanut butter, shelf stable things generally, uh, but laundry, laundry detergent is something that they've needed more recently. Okay. 
Um, and then on Saturday, April 20th, we will be doing a flannel walk, meet at 9 a.m. in the parking lot, get some coffee, bagels, and walk up with dogs or children. Um, and the silent auction will be open until Saturday. So you'll want to get your bids in and keep an eye on that. But awesome. while it opens on this Sunday on the 14th, you can sign up for a reminder today. Perfect. And you can do all of that. Find out the information on a broken record, champlainvalley.jl.org. Yes. And our website has a lot of great things. Uh, our community partners, our community projects, mm -hmm. uh, who we work with, information about the diaper bank and what we've done, and um, some pictures too. We have some good pictures on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. Also would suggest following our Instagram because we will have a lot of updates about the Little Black Flannel Initiative yep. throughout the week. And that's Junior League of Champlain Valley, the Instagram handle. Great. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, Olivia. Yeah. We're looking forward to the week. Yeah. All right. I am too. Thank you.